All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry, a little bit of delay. Uh, just uh, got back from getting some ice cream from Giffords. Uh, it was absolutely delicious. I've still got some. Left. Uh, but I'm just finishing the setup. Uh, I am very excited uh, to be doing a little bit of a Elite Smash Climb with my favorite uh, Smash character, Zelda. Um, so, as soon as I get this adapter plugged in, my headphones in, I'm going to get started. <laughs> I always have to readjust my headphones after Winter Wednesday because they are so much more extended for me having the wig on. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Um, it is high time for a little bit of uh, Elite Smash climbing. Um, hmm. Controller's not working. I already have this. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, going to uh, start this. Um, I was going to do a little bit of training, um, but I think uh, just because I'm delayed, I'm going to hop right into some smash. Also, by the way, we got a cool uh, Zelda themed tournament going on right now. Um, so I might also hop into that too, uh, to kind of see how that goes, um, because you can only use Zelda focus characters. Pokemon trainer for CPU to easily swap weight classes. Interesting. All right. So, um, hold on one second here. Okay. Are you saying no to me not going into training? Rich is my designated coach for tonight. So I might have to go back because if coach is telling me I need to train, then I might need to train a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, going to actually, I'm going to put in training in Battlefield because uh, it's the one that I typically want to train in more because. I need to be able to have that practice with uh, comboing off of platforms. Um, Final Destination, I feel uh, really, uh, really comfortable in. Yeah, if you're trying to climb, don't play cold. No, you're right. You're right. Um, all right. So, CPU. Yeah, honestly, we're going to start it off first with Pokemon Trainer. Where is Pokemon? There are too many characters in this game. I always forget where things are. Nope, 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 nope. There he is. Pokemon Trainer. Okay. All right, we're gonna put him all the way up to nine. <clears throat> all right, here we go. A little bit of training to start it off. Want to practice a few short jumps and fast falls. Ooh! All right, I'm feeling it. Okay. See number of CPUs one CPU damage, right? Um, yeah, let's get them at CPU level nine. Let's do this. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm getting schooled by the CPU already. Ooh, didn't get through the platform. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what my GSP is. Let's get them getting out some of the bad up bees because you know they're coming. Oh, that switch. All right, I'm going to try to get one more kill. Oh, thank you, Ricardo, for that beautiful block. Sweet. Uh, it's a nice little warm up. Uh, feeling pretty good. Um, let's get into this. I gotta see what my uh, GSP is. Um, so, uh, for a viewer that is uh, not familiar with um, Smash Online, uh, the ELO is uh, called GSP, uh, and that's where we're gonna be kind of starting off. It's basically a way to measure. So my GSP is uh, 6,398,000. I don't know where that is in terms of Elite Smash. Um, I typically will kind of touch in with Zelda, try to at least gain like a couple hundred thousand per run, and then if I start losing it, I'll just kind of uh, bow out. But tonight, we're making the climb. Zelda. Hey, what's up, man? So I currently don't have audio uh, to be able to hear you. Um, so folks who are just not hearing, uh, I've got Rich on the Discord right now. Okay. Ooh. Whispering sweet knowledge. I hate heroes so much. Oh my god, Ricardo. 
Saved me from that. Ooh, the juggle for that. Oh, <laughs> all right. I got this hero's number. Oh, <laughs> and I got the block on his fire. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm hitting my rhythm against this fool. down spike. Ah, uh, Ricardo. Didn't have didn't have the presence I needed him to. Okay, I got to change up my uh, recovery. Oh man, he is reading all the recoveries right now. God, that fire travels the full part of the map. I thought at least I'd be out of range. Oh, whoa. I absolutely put the input for... Uh, Oh my god, I hate that fire so much. There we go. Alright, I'm at 89. Wants to, he's like just spamming his dash. But interestingly enough, he's not really using his down B at all. He finally used his down B and he got a fucking heal from it. Oh no! Ah, there it is. He was waiting. He was waiting for that opportunity to get that uh, flame blast off. All right. Ooh, he told he says dunk tastic. Yeah, no, I'm not playing this full again. I hate playing against heroes just because it's very much a it's a boring game. It, it just becomes like all he does is really kind of play a keep away. There are some who will play super aggressive, but for the ones who will just like all they're waiting for is just to get that fire attack off. I I don't know. It's like the same thing of like playing a Samus who doesn't use like Samus's full kit. And it's just like, you're only going to spam that one. Hmm. Uh, typically in in-between points, uh, I try to go for the juggle, but then I also try to practice my up-B recoveries. Yeah. 
Yes. I'm playing against a K. Roll right now. Uh, I don't think I have. I'm also having a hard time hearing you just because the the sound from the Switch right now is so loud comparatively to uh, your audio coming in. Also, this K. Roll is lagging so much. So what stinks is that I might not even get GSP at the end of this. Uh, I've had it before where I don't get GSP um, when someone has actually, if there's like lag present in the game. Yeah. That was beautiful. Threw the crown, knocked me up above him, and uh, hit me with his uh, up air. I'm at two stock, 13. He's at zero final stock. All right, got the DI. <laughs> he up feed back the stage and I was able to get the punish on him. Oh! <laughs> he went for the counter and then I ran up and I toe poked him. Off of it. <laughs> That's honestly, I mean, I'll aggressively play with some toe pokes, um, but typically I like to use that for my punish um, because I can throw it out so fast. Um, and if I catch them in that moment where I can get them for a punish, I can usually, I'm a little bit more accurate in terms of throwing that out. playing a Yoshi now, which actually I feel more comfortable playing as Zelda. Um, they can be very oppressive, but at the same time, I can also punish with Ricardo.
Ooh. I almost got a uh, retreating toe poke on him, but he was there with the up smash. Yeah, I I had him in first stock, but then he started adjusting, and his spacing was very good. He was also at seven million GSP, so I am not playing someone who is immediately around that. But again, numbers I don't understand the climb in terms of like what, like how you are paired in terms of, and then like how much, how many points you actually get. That's something that I've never quite understood how they've made that work but i don't know we are a slave to the to the gsp <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ganondorf Oh my god, he got the spike on me. Rough. Got him down to final stock, but I'm at 97, which means any heavy attack he hits me with, I'm dead. Oh, or he just, he basically, he went for the grab, was hit, 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 and I thought he was going to go for a finish move, so I was anticipating the DI, but then I released from it, and then he hit me with a forward, uh, forward tilt. What do you mean? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say her down tilt, or sorry, her down air spike is a jank. Um, 
I think maybe like uh, honestly, it's more of like a Ricardo hitting uh, the outside, uh, like catching them in like a weird way with like his spacing of not being able mm -hmm. to recover. That's kind of like where the jank is, but it's not as much. Um, so I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try and lower the volume because I like honestly I can't focus with like because if I turn it loud, if I turn it down, then I can't hear you. But if I turn it too high. I'm like, I just can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, you're fine. Let's see. You can also, like, you're, you're cool to tune me out there. Like, you're cool to, like, turn me, turn me down during the match. Yeah. Like, that, that doesn't, that, that is, that is a-okay. Plus, you should be listening to Nick to you. Right. Um, <laughs> so let me see here. Where do you want to hear your audio? In this, your mind. This capture card does not make it easy in terms of like figuring out. Okay. Where this comes from. Okay. No, that doesn't change it either. Um, can you turn it down like on the system itself? Uh, I don't know. I've never tried that. Um, Cause it might be that rather than going with a digital like volume thing they just went with a like analog pump up the gains mm, i mean i can adjust my i can just choose mono or stereo for my console sound um, oh no i mean like the actual like volume buttons oh no that's not changing anything uh, bummer. um i wonder if there's things in smash that I can change it with. Um, yeah, if you, on the sidebar that you can access with Z. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, here, try talking. Test, 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 test. Yeah, test, test. All right, so I need to turn you up. That's where I need to. Voice and video. Okay, try that one more time talking. Test, 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 Okay, that's I'm backing up and my car's beeping. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. So that is good. Wonderful. Okay, that is much better. Because honestly, my ADHD brain could not handle the multiple things <laughs> going on. Yes. And like, yes. I was just getting like so tense. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, this isn't I, working. I, 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 I know those. I very much know those heels. All right. Now, the thing is, though, is that in terms of music, I can't really, like, I I mean, like, I've heard of streamers having music playing in the background, but it's like, is that going to get me flagged for something, though? I don't know. Um, playing background know. music on Twitch. Everything you need to know. Restrictions. Oh, 
Normally, the audio tracks the streamers use in their games are usually copy protected by copyright. That means that the original author's song has the power to decide which people will be allowed to use their music, determine the conditions that will apply. Okay, but the question is, is what if I did like a YouTube mix of like some kind of like hype uh, game mix? Hype video game mix. Um, it's, it's, hmm. So a lot of that stuff's like tricky because like, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, back from when you like uh, film production stuff. Yeah. Like you can for um like where it becomes a problem is in the like monetization of things yeah or like distribution of things um so i don't know i like i i, I don't know like what spotify's because like i know i know a fair amount of streamers to like um, they just, uh, like, have the information about whatever song they're listening to display. Mm, mm, okay. And they're like, I, I'm, I'm attributing this person, like, yeah, like, it's, uh, and they've been doing that for a while, so I don't know. Yeah. Well, um, I'm not gonna, I don't want to risk getting flagged yeah. necessarily, so I'll do more research going into next time, but... Yeah, no, it's, um, it's. I also did get a before he left the stream. Galaxy for one uh, said I need about five hundred thousand more uh, from where I was at around six million uh, three hundred. So I think if I get up to like close to seven million, that might be where I can reach. But I'm back down to five uh, five point nine right now. So yeah, um, the journey. That's always how it goes. <laughs> It is how it goes. Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, ooh, yeah, I'm playing so Giancarlo, the King K. Rule. <laughs> oh, but this is for, five for, minutes for three stock. Um, yeah. You you may have to play for the timeout. That's a that's a very short amount of time, especially against a heavy. Like those He's already like playing much super defensively. Um, I mean, it's a bad matchup for him if he wants to play that way, though. Ooh. He's playing the projectile game right now, so. I know how to beat that game, though. Because as soon as he fucking takes that, that blunderbuss, that's when I teleport to him. First stock down, but I'm at 124. I mean, run. <laughs> if he's already established that he's going to play that way, like, I won a game against a hero the other day. He got me on a down, uh, down throw, uh, Barry. Hmm. the leg.
Whoa, what was that grab? He, uh, he got like the grab on me in like way midair. That was wild. Oh, I got his crown. <laughs> I'm just going to hang on to this shit. I'm not allowing you to have your crown back. Oh! <laughs> he fucking got me with his, uh, his counter when I threw the crown at him. Down to final stock, one minute left. I am just going to run from him. Four seconds left. Oh, man, what a troll. <laughs> wow. That was rough. I I just, like, I couldn't uh, completely play keep away from him because he would just come in enough, and even with what I was doing uh, from afar, and honestly, I don't feel comfortable with going to sudden death against a K rule. Um because he has so many options to just immediately get the kill or counter something I'm going to throw at him. Yeah. I mean... <sighs> I think... So... I think... And th this is something that I, like... I try to do in my own play. Um... I try to focus uh, less on like, like my like in in terms of uh, my game plan, not uh, f phrasing it in terms of avoiding things, but but uh, but more so like um, uh, things that your uh, that like good situations for you kind of thing. Um, uh, a lot of the, the, like, like, what's like, I don't know, who's your, um, do, you, do you know who your next matchup's against? Yeah, I'm playing a me brawler right now. Hmm. He's got the, uh, the shot put. Okay. He's just throwing out moves that I I can just I'm, I just need to I need to whip punish on. Okay. But, so how can you get him to how how can you get him to whiff more? Well, I mean you're doing a great job, but. Oh ah he read that. Um, I don't know how I'd be able to exactly get him to whiff more, because the only and this is the problem with Zelda sometimes is that, I. Uh, her grab is usually slower than 
uh, people's uh, like jabs. Mm -hmm. Very nice. There's a delay. It just. Oh. Remember that grabs aren't about whiffing. Grabs are about like getting him to throw out like dangerous moves in bad situations. There we go. Alright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drop off uh, my um my my <laughs> My advice would be to, uh, would be to focus on the situations in which you're, you, you get like a meaty punish on a character or which you remember getting a meaty punish mm. and, and, uh, like what, what did, what did you do that made them like mess up? Mm. Um, okay, was you. it like taking a step back at the right time? Was it um, throwing out a specific move from like the right distance that they were like, "Oh, that's my chance"? Like, you, you wanna you wanna trick them into thinking that's their chance. Uh, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I meant by like, how how can you get them to whiff? But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this Thai food um, and then I'll I'll hop back on. Nice. Enjoy. Alrighty. Good luck, sir. Uh, I'm you. sure it'll be a lot easier without without me rambling in your oh, ear. He just fucking SD'd. <laughs> 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 All right, that works. That works. Uh, cool. No, I, I appreciate it. Enjoy. I assume, is that from Opart? Yes, of course. Oh my goodness gracious! Enjoy. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll talk to you later, man. <laughs> cool. Cheers. All right, so no rematch on this guy here for right now, um, but I'm going to continue the climb. Uh, let's see if I can get back up to uh, 6 million. Um, again, I think my goal, based on Galaxy for One, who joined in the very beginning, uh, said it's going to be close to like 7 million. So we'll kind of see. Uh, again, it's it comes down to a point where there's going to be a lot of uh, harder opponents. There's some that I am better against and some that I uh, can really do well against. Inkling is always a 50-50. Sometimes I do very well. Sometimes I get my shit rocked. It depends on how much they're just like really good at doing that down B because that shit always just wrecks me. All right. They're very good with their grabs. Oh, you just saved my life, dude. I don't know if you know that. Oh, shit. I forgot that that up E damages. Oh, did it too early. Also did that too late. All right. Oh, that was a great spot dodge. Okay. Did not get that out in time. There we go. Okay. Down a stock. Oh. Oh. 
Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I juked out too far. All right, all right. There we go. Ooh, what a combo. All right, here we go. Final stock. Holy shit, I got that just off in time. So I got, I... Ooh! All right, ooh, my nose is itching. Oh, what a great read. Oh. Okay. No. Ah, that's always it. Whew. Yeah, it's that the roller is always what gets me. Um, I'm just not, I can't ever mash out of it uh, well enough. Uh, that's the key uh, for fighting. Oh, my God. God, I lost so many GSP for that. Holy shit. Again, I don't understand how the numbers work. <laughs> I'm only at mercy to it. Oh, did I just ask for a rematch? No, I don't want to rematch you. <laughs> no, because I, I think I could potentially beat them, but when you're trying to climb that GSP ladder, you can't just keep fighting people that beat you uh, for the sake of trying to beat them uh, because it's a slippery slope um, and it gives them a chance, especially if they know how to adapt. I don't know if that inkling was adapting as well, but at the same time, I can't risk it. Okay, here we go. We got a Mario. You gotta be careful of his uh his cape. Oh whoa, what happened there? Alright, this Mario is not nearly as good as the other opponents that I've been fighting. Oh, but he got the spike on me. Wow, my hubris. I'll give you a little crouch dance. Yeah, he's falling for that jab, that jab combo. Oh. Oh, nope. I meant to do a up tilt with that instead of. <laughs> you chose poorly. Oh, no. Oh, I definitely thought he was going to go. There we go. Oh, 
There it is. Wow, he is hanging in there. But not from that. <laughs> it's alright. I had to go for it. I had the, uh... I gotta be careful. He's got his chops with his spikes. So even though I'm at 10%, I can't, I can't catch myself going off stage too much. Alright, cool. So, I would say that this Mario has not been adapting. Um, I beat him, so therefore I am going to try and play him again. Oh, wow. He was yeah much lower GSP. I doubt he will stay, but sometimes, again, yeah, he didn't stay. Uh, if I can find someone that I beat, um, then that would be a good opportunity for me to try and uh, farm GSP from him. Uh, just because... If it's going to be someone I can beat and I know I can have a good matchup in, I got to go for it. The thing is, the only other exception I'll have to the rule is if I am playing someone where I am enjoying the matchup so much that I just want to play it again. Um, there are certain characters that I absolutely love playing against. And uh, for instance, like Donkey Kong matchups, Captain Falcon matchups, I love playing against because they are just... So, so, so fun. Ooh. All right. This is going to be... Oh, what is this? Are we on a final destination, or is this a complete flat stage? Okay. Good spacing. Oh, just out of range. Oh, man. They are very good with that up B. Or not up B. Oh. There we go. I have to stay out of range of that uh, side B. It's a great tool for Samus to be able to use. Okay. All right. I always like to test the waters uh, in terms of uh, returning with my up B because how well are they going to be... Uh... Oh, I should have opened with that. Oh, wow. All right, very patient. Fuck! Oh, my God. My sweaty finger uh, slipped on the controller stick, and I just went in the completely opposite direction. Uh, it's going to take a Herculean effort uh, for me to come back from this. But... Okay. 
so good with the jumps. There we go. That'll be a kill. All right. Just got to hang in here somehow. Nope. Nope. Yeah, she's going for the kill. There it is. Yeah. All right. Not not my best match. Uh, again, that's just the way things go with Zelda. Uh, I will ever occasionally uh, just completely fuck up and teleport in the wrong direction. Um, all right. So I need to get, Solo battle. Need to get like a rag or a paper towel because my hands are sweating. And the more that my hands sweat, the more that I will have a chance of fucking up my up B. So I'll be right back. All right, back at it. Got my paper towel. All right. All right, here we go. Hydration is key. field. Here we go. Don't hold that shield that long. I will punish it. messed up that DI pretty badly because that was just a neutral error. I could get in and grab him in time. I should have known that that was going to go faster. Oh my god, I walked right into that. Whew, I am not playing smart. There we go. So he's coming again.
There we go. Still might be able to pull this out. I gotta play really smart. I gotta basically just not get caught in his in his up smash. Because that's that's his kill. That's his kill confirm. Oh no. If he spaced that a little bit better, that would have been killed. There we go. That's the option. That's what I've been missing. I just have to... Oh, my God. I just didn't throw anything out. I was running alongside him, and I didn't throw anything out against him. I absolutely think I can beat him, though. So I am going to go for a rematch. Um, I just was not playing smart and was not focused. So we're going to try it again. Oh, no. I guess no rematch. Alright, this is a tough matchup. Uh, Bowser is one of those heavies that... Yeah, so his jab, or my jab, does not work against him. Yeah, but see, that will kill me. And that's the issue I have against Bowser's, especially against platform levels, is that I cannot deal with uh, that side B. I, I don't know how I did not get that grab on him. There we go. Okay. If he's going to enter with this, I'm just going to punish it with the toe poke. That's it. Nah, and I didn't, I DI'd the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Oh my God. He went into that so fast. There we go. Okay, he's super predictable. Uh, if, I, if I can't win this. He's going for the perfect shield now. Yep. 
Okay. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, that was good. I uh, Hopefully, he will want to play again. Because if he's going to do that same stuff, that is absolutely someone I can farm GSP from. Uh, because that was just super predictable behavior over and over again. And then just being able to adapt. And then seeing the ways that he was adapting to me. Uh, so when he was doing the down, uh, the down A... Uh, Oh, yeah, he's not going to play again. When he was going, doing the down A, come in, I would go in for the toe poke. Then he started shielding immediately after that. So then that's when I started to switch it up by going for the grab again. Because originally I was going for the grab, but then he was throwing out something uh, before I could get the grab in. Because again, Zelda's grab is uh, pretty slow comparatively to a lot of other uh, characters in the game. Ah, uh, another hero. Three. Holy shit. I cannot believe that I fucking shielded through that and it didn't kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're dead. Yeah, there we go. Nope, got caught on that. Oh, off on that. Should have done the shorter one. Oh no, he caught me on it. Can't use Ricardo against him right now. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> See, that is why I, I do not enjoy playing against heroes. Uh, is because I... I was winning that game by a pretty large margin. I still think I could beat him, though. I was winning that game by a pretty large margin, but all it takes is for him to get the right down B move at the right time, and then suddenly it completely turns the match around. Um, there are definitely ways to, I think, counter it, and if I played against a hero more often, I would be able to kind of recognize that and adapt but I just do not play against them enough so I don't know the correct There we go. Uh-oh. Woo! 
All right, I gotta get some damage in on him. Oh, holy shit! So, because he didn't have any magic power, uh, that's the time I know to, uh, That's the time I know when to go against a hero because his recovery is based on his uh, based on his magic power. So if you are able to punish him when he has that, he basically has no way Oh, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Whew. I'm so glad I went for that because then he would have had such a massive... Uh, inf he would have been able to get a huge hit on me. Okay, I was like, when are you going to come out of this? Oh, almost got the... Uh... Is that an instant kill? Again, the bullshit. The shenanigans. There it is. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, I keep running my uh I throw my hands down. If I can find out where this plugs in. Alright, cool. Alright, so yeah, that was the rematch I was definitely hoping uh to go for. And I think if he wants to go for best of three, which I have a feeling he will, I feel pretty confident in being able to beat him again. Um, again, I had a good lead on him, and it was one of his moves that brought him back into it. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, again, that's like the frustrating part. You have to play so careful against him because uh, I think a lot of being able to counter hero is also knowing what each and every one of his moves do because you have to instantly see as he is scrolling through that menu you have to understand what options he's going to be able to throw out and then suddenly be able to adjust your gameplay. Ooh, okay, so this is a matchup that is going to be very difficult. I struggle against sword characters as Zelda. I cannot believe I got that grab off because Lucina is notoriously difficult to beat in terms of that speed. All right. There we go. Yeah, this Lucina is not playing aggressively. She's playing much more defensively. So I just have to, I can't really go in offensively against her, um, which is to their loss because that is one of Lucina's best qualities is just that oppressive uh, way of just kind of coming in, always hitting you with those forward airs. Woo. 
Yeah. Okay. That's how they're. That's how they're playing it. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. There it is. Poking the shield down. Oh. That's it. All right, cool. That's the combo I needed. Oh! Walked right into that one. This is kill if I can get this timed. Okay. Next Ricardo I get on her, she's dead. Or this will kill. That's it. That is the benefit of playing against a sword character, is that once I get them off the stage, I can usually uh, finish them from there. Because they can only really recover uh, a couple of ways. Um, I mean, depending on, like, if I send them soaring and it's a horizontal, they're always going to have the same kind of recovery. And I can, as long as I position myself to the left of the center of the stage and throw out the Din's fire and angle it down, it will almost always get to that spot of where they're at. Uh, the key is hitting the sweet spot um, because the sweet spot is what will finish them completely. And that's what I always have to try to go for. Um, still, even getting the uh, soft spot on it can just disrupt them enough. Oh, here we go. Fucking Donkey Kong. Let's do this. Okay, okay, DK. Okay, DK. I have to punish. He's going for those aerials. Oh, that lasts for so long. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. By the hairs of my chinny chin chin. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, this is only two stock. Holy shit. Did not notice that. Whoo! Oh! Beautifully spaced. Oh, he got the trip on me, too. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god. Wow. <sighs> Had that been three stock, I might have been able to take him. Which is why I want to rematch against him. Uh, Alright, let's do this. 
I, I want a rematch. That was ugh, I love playing against Donkey Kong so much. Because all of the hits are just so dramatic and so fun. Yeah, nah. He's also on that climb. You gotta respect that. I I never I never get really upset when people don't want to rematch me. Only when it's like a game that they absolutely should not have won. And it's like, give me a chance. You you got lucky with this one. But usually that's like a time for them to be like, um, I am absolutely going to get out of here. I realized I won that by the skin of my teeth. Ooh, all right. Joker is also someone I sometimes struggle with, but we'll see. Okay, he's entering with a jab. So I have to be really careful with Ricardo uh, when he is doing this, uh, when he's in uh, Arceus, because he can reflect that. And honestly, I play more of a keep away when he is playing against Arceus. Or when he has our whatever he's called. Oh! Hmm. They're so squarely like that. That's that's the the trouble I have against lighter characters is they will fall through my shield uh, and I will get caught trying to grab them. There we go. All right. So that was key. The fact that I was able to get that stock. Uh, ooh, that was a great read. Uh, to get that stock before he got um, Arsene again was huge because that is... Ooh, man, the combo's here. There we go. There we go. That was risky because I could have, um, it could have been, oh, all right. I got to press my advantage. I, I got to make sure I, again, I get him before he gets. <laughs> that was so unnecessarily ballsy of me and he absolutely punished me for it. Yeah, see, that's what he's not been using that I see a lot of Joker players really get me with. Okay. What I want to try to get him in is... I want to try to get a Ricardo... Oof. 
That's it. Oh, man. I gotta go so for some aggressive. Ready for this? Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Uh, so I had my jump, did not use it, and I ended up just up being early when I was too far away. Uh, so absolutely lost that game for myself, but that was a very good match, a very close one. But I felt him starting to adapt, so I wouldn't have gone for the rematch on that. All right, let's see who else we got. Terry. All right. Three, two, one, go. Get that shit out of here, Terry. Back it up, Terry. Put it in reverse. There's the combo. Fuck. So I have to be careful because Terry is almost level uh, at 100%, which means, yeah, now he's got his. Oh, he's very good at summoning it, too. I have to beat him uh, before... Okay, cool. Because the thing is, if if Terry beats you, uh, if he takes a stock on you while he's over 100, he can suddenly, when you go into your next stock, uh, put like 40 damage on you within a single combo. And suddenly his lead just uh, compounds. Dude, you aren't even using your side B. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't know what this Terry is doing here. He he clearly needs to put it in reverse. <laughs> All right, it'll get that jab out in time. Whoa! That was a great shield. That's uh, that's the way that Zelda beats uh, fighting characters who don't have great uh, recoveries. Is I throw Ricardo out and they are forced to air dodge, uh, and then suddenly they are just soaring down off stage, and they cannot recover uh, because of the delay from uh, the air dodge. I remember when this game first came out, I could not figure out why I just would not be able to use my up B on characters after doing an air dodge. I'm like, oh wait, they added like a whole feature now where you absolutely are gonna get punished for 
air dodging back to the stage, which is like a fair, it's definitely a fair thing because you shouldn't be able to air dodge and then immediately do your up B. Three, two, Here we one, go, Byleth. Yeah, that's where I'm going to punish Phyleth every single time. Oh, yeah. All right. That is honestly one of my favorite combos from Zelda. Uh, is... <laughs> I did it too late. Or too early, actually. Mm, okay. All right, they're making good adjustments. Didn't do the short one. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Ricardo putting in the fucking work for the overtime. He's like, I got this. I'm going to block this for you. And then I will also do the attack to finish her off. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man. I have a feeling this Byleth's going to want a rematch, though. That was that was a, a tragic end uh, to that, that fight. <laughs> Byleth is also another character I enjoy playing against. Uh, just because the variety that comes with playing against her um, and it just it, her kit is really interesting. Um, I love being able to uh, kind of play against that uh, the spacing game that she does with her spear um, and then being able to anticipate the arrow as well. Ooh, Zorark. Playing Bowser. One, I don't like this. He's already lagging. All right. Ooh, great. Fucking Bowser combo. the slightest bit of lag and it's like it's just so subtle but it's like hitting in such just a lot of weird ways but I think that it's actually favoring me right now there we go I love when he flies off the map like that because he he just goes full on dinosaur all right I can't I can't do that uh up B Oh, what a great read. Oh, 
That's it. Oh! <laughs> I got the toe poke! Holy shit. That does not happen uh, as much as I want it to. It's something I go for uh, seldomly. Honestly, I I usually end up going for the um, the down spike. Ooh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Oh man, that was, you see, that's what Rich always gets me with the Captain Falcon is that is the soft knee. It's just enough just to like, boop, just fucking push you out of the way. Uh, and that is also the power of uh, the soft toe poke as well. Uh, just like, boop, just enough, just enough. <laughs> uh, but I think that he was not anticipating uh, I don't know if he lost a jump or something, but I felt like he still should have been able to recover from that. Shulk! He's really feeling it! Three, two, hey! One, go. Oh my god! That was like fucking meeting a bull. Uh, at the, uh, as a fucking matador. I was like, all right, let's see how this goes. All right, all right, he's going, he's going for the shield. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was a great back air. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't do that run against him. Because he's uh, he's shielding through that. That's it. There we go. Okay, okay. They got him that time with it. Ah!
<laughs> Almost caught him being greedy. Yeah, got that. Got that off. And I, I could not figure out how to really get to him because he was waiting patiently through my Ricardos, and anytime I tried to get him midair, I would always be beat by his forward air from his sword. Uh, and I just wasn't, I, it, I think it's just because he was, he was also very good with his uh, Monado forms in terms of adjusting uh, to kind of counter the ways that I was playing against him. Again, he's also one of those characters I just have not played enough against. I didn't even really play much against him in Smash 4. Okay. Fucking Little Mac. Three, I hate this matchup one, so much. Because you would think, oh, it's easy. But you know what? I always fucking struggle against it. There we go. Oh my god. You're done. <laughs> oh, that was a great read. Oh man. Okay, okay. Nope. Oh my god. I played too far away. All right. I cannot believe that. There it is. All right. Yeah, I, especially on Final Destination, I just stress the fuck out whenever I play against a Little Mac uh, because he can punish my Din's fire, he can punish Ricardo if he dodges it correctly. Um, and the thing is, is I cannot play aggressively against him because that plays into what he does best. Um, so I just end up having to just, I don't know, play and try to go for the grab, throw him off the stage and try to go for something like that. But it's always so, 
I just, I get so tense against him. He's one of the, he's someone that I know I should be able to beat very easily, but I just have a very difficult time taking a breath and just playing fundamentals. Cloud is a matchup that I am so familiar with uh, because shout out to uh, Matt from Teddy and the Gang because my goodness, he had such an amazing cloud he would play. All right, but I'm going to need to focus. All right. Ooh, my goodness. The spacing. Uh, no. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Hello. Hey, how's it going? We, uh, apologies. Uh, you'll, you'll understand. We were, we were watching a bunch of Avatar. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, got me with the side B. <sighs> oh my god, that was I. I'm I'm shooketh that I did not get that uh, up the hitbox against it. Oh, also found out uh, found out today from Abigail that. Uh, uh, one of the biggest drag queens uh, out of Chicago, Shea Coule, mains Jigglypuff and Smash. <laughs> hmm. Very cool. Um, here, sorry, Colin. I need to. I think I need to grab a computer because when I try to watch the stream, I have a minute delay echo of you talking which is uh, one you. of the most horrifying uh dissidents i think that my senses can <laughs> <laughs> can endure um, um so erica wanted me to mention that um she shared the portal cast with um some of her friends who are really into Avatar. Thanks, man. Oh, thank you, Erica. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's insane. Because we hadn't posted uh, an episode. Oh! I, I love trying to go for um, the uh, reflection from Zelda on Cloud's, uh, on his uh, limit break uh, move. Oh, I was off under that. But that is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I even without having an episode published, just from uh, the show being back on uh, Netflix alone, like our numbers on our website shot up. Just from mm -hmm. just the fact that people are just seeing it Ooh, uh, way more. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that was a weird hitbox that you got there. Okay. Woo! Oh my god, I just got that throw on him. Just as he got that limit break. Very, very nice. My God! So this dude like I, always the eyes away. Yeah, I I uh, landed on the platform. Yeah. When I, I thought I was you. gonna be going on the side because I wanted to come mm -hmm. down with my neutral air uh, to try mm -hmm. to stop him, but that was a good read by him. I'm not playing against him again though, because fuck that. Clouds, <laughs> clouds. I wouldn't say are fun to play against. They're a they're a good challenge uh, because there's a lot of things that I have to uh, try to do, but I don't always have fun playing against clouds. Uh, I had fun playing against um, my friend Matt's cloud uh, just because we were so evenly matched that our matchups were always so fucking close every single time we would play. 
and those are always the best. Three, All right, so we got Mario one, go. in his in his white tuxedo. So, uh, the moment that you put your shield up, don't go for shield grab. Just just do the do the. Do the jump out of shield neutral air. That's gonna be that like that should that should be your like main out of shield option. Oh my um, god, that combo though! Holy shit, that ooh. was so good. Oh, oh shit, my fingers slipped. Oh my goodness. This Mario's got his fucking fundamentals down, that's for sure. He's gotten some great classic Mario combos. Um. Hmm. My browser encountered hmm. an error. So I would recommend you can you can beat this Mario. Um, I'd recommend playing the rematch against. God, why does he keep doing that? God, did not get out that out fast enough. Yeah, I, I agree that I think I can beat him. Um, I was starting to catch on a little bit more to his gameplay uh, as it was going on, but he had some mm -hmm. really solid combos against me. Holy shit, I lost so much GSP from that. That is insane. <laughs> I will win a game, I will gain so little, and then I will lose a game and lose so much. <laughs> All right, so what other things should I keep in mind uh, against this next matchup? So he runs up, and he likes to, like, sit in that, like, in-between place. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like to do something similar. Uh, um, mix, uh, like, give, give, him, give, him, give him the slap. Give him the, give him the slice. Like, even if it's on shield, like, try to hit just with the tip of it. With the what? Just the tip of it. Of uh, Ricardo? No, no, of the of the slice. The, oh, uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he's not. Uh, it's it's not technically speaking safe on shield. Um, but yeah, he's. Been oh, there it was. That. Yep, yep. He's getting a little, like, he's starting to get antsy. Oh, 
because he's comfortable playing like a mid-range neutral. Um, so like the thing that like that. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that was such a good approach. Nice. And so now that's that, that's like in his head. So now, so ooh, very nice. Uh, so you can go for the uh, now you can go for like a dash attack or something, because he'll shield at a different range. Yep. <laughs> And then, and then now, don't let him, don't let him get used to the pace. Uh, switch back and like look for another like slash. <laughs> Dude. Oh shit! I meant to go for the. Uh... What? Woo! There we go. All right. All right. When it comes to when it comes to players like um, like this is like neutral stuff like you, like your 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 punishing is perfectly fine um, like and and your like zoning in is perfectly fine but like neutral is very like character dependent um, uh, and it's about like pace setting and like like. Uh, the last time Ooh. that you... Oh, that was such a good reflect. The last time that you... Um, like... Like, you see him shield your dash attack. And, like, what that says is... Next time... Uh, next time, like, the clear move is to go for the grab. And the, like... The, the next kind of, like, jump would be to go for the... Um, uh, would be to go for the, uh, the spot dodge grab. But this dude likes to hit buttons. Gah! Yes! Oh, oh man. Oh, man, that is, that, that was, that felt good. <laughs> uh i'm gonna get i'm gonna give it one more rematch uh mm -hmm. i i think that's another i think i was starting to get in him or get uh get in his mind get in his thoughts <laughs> no i mean the other thing i actually if if you're if you're looking to climb i would not rematch him i just did <laughs> oh you did okay <laughs> um that's the kind of like if you lose a match you always want to play it uh, a second time if you win a match you always want to play it a second time and then the third match is only if you won two matches in a row So I don't know if you've noticed, but you but every time you've uh, every time you've gone to like like you hit your jab like pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. So so there's a certain amount of like Ooh. Oh, if it if it combo. if it works kind of like nah, yeah, that was very nice. Oh.
And that hitbox stays active. So he's he's turning up the speed. Um, uh, and and the 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 point of that is to <laughs> the point of that is to uh, is to try to like overwhelm you. He can't necessarily maintain this pace for for too long. So um, if you avoid using things like the teleport and the uh, the shield in neutral, um, you'll you'll essentially like starve him out because he's just gonna like run out of energy. You, you like you can't maintain that kind of pace for that long. Um, Very, very nice. Oh, okay. Woo. Oh, I cannot believe I got that grab. It's a pivot grab, man. <laughs> it doubles your, it doubles your grab range. All right, we're back to neutral game plan. Y'all, you're, you're both basically at zero. So that means... Uh, oh, fuck. Woo! I made a mistake. I shouldn't have rematched him. <laughs> oh my god, all of that GSP. <laughs> all right, well now now I know the fundamentals. When to mm -hmm. when to hold them and when to fold them. <laughs> yeah. So um, when when the other person picks up the pace like that, uh, you want to be careful. Uh, <laughs> Another Mario. <laughs> to like, no, this is good though, because yeah. like, yeah, that, then you're just kind of like leading into the next person. Yeah. You see, so so here's the thing. Like he's assuming you're gonna play. Like people do this when I when I play Samus all the time. He's assuming you're gonna play like a really campy game. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Oh man. He's very good at following up. Better than the other guy, I'd say. Mm -hmm. 
So, oh my god, he's just like fishing for grabs. So just like make sure that you're facing him and just like as he approaches, just mash jab. Ooh, that was really nice. Thank you. I was talking about the the Ricardo up smash. Um, he also jumps from ledge uh, a lot. Like I don't think that you have the the um, like I don't think you you're quite as consistent with like. Uh, knowing uh, jump heights from from ledge, uh, so I would say like the easiest way to punish that, yeah, there there he does it again, um, is like neutral air. So like just jump where he would be. Oof. Hmm. Oh. Wow. He read that perfectly. He rolled that time. There it is. Hi, Rich. Mm hmm. <laughs> did you get the Coach Taylor uh, GIF I sent to you for coaching? In the I did. <laughs> you said he I did. did. <laughs> yes. Good. So, you do not want to rematch this guy. I did not want to. <laughs> No, I won. Oh, okay. I just didn't want to rematch him. So the um, the the trick when it comes to climbing a lot of times is um, uh, it's a, it's a mix of like managing um like people to get GSP from mm -hmm. and like your own energy. Yeah. Um. That Mario looked exhausting to play against. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, sweet inkling. Yeah, they're also hunting for grabs. Yep. Yeah, I mean, but they're they're going to mix you up, which makes uh, which makes jab not as good of an option. Mm -hmm. Uh. Um. I I am so bad at mashing out of uh, the roller. Um. I typically. press my hand against it and like rattle the controller up and down. Mm -hmm. um, it's not very good for the controller though. So I... Um... There we go. Uh, inkling, this inkling, um, 
the the Mario was going for a lot of combos that weren't like true. Um, but this inkling, most of the like they'll they'll go for like one or two or three hits. Um, like they won't necessarily overreach. And to that end, like it's a um, it's it's better to just like di it out, try to get to ledge, try to get to safety, um, rather than like throw out like rather than hit like neutral air because that that'll they'll, they'll end up getting one more hit um oh my god just could not get out they're good with the roller though they're not spamming it like yeah that that i am thankful for like they well don't be thankful for it because like they were if they were spamming it you would like inkling that's inkling doesn't have that many kill options <laughs> wow oh that was perfectly timed holy shit Oof. that was what a rough. read that was really good yeah I believe they this is a good, yeah, this is a good, uh... Wow, okay, get out of here. <laughs> I love you. Uh, you do. Solo battle. Nice. All right. Whew. No, that, uh, that Inkling was also just very good with spacing, and that's, I feel mm -hmm. like, the key to, to playing Inkling. It's just being able to just like throw out those aerials uh, very strategically and being able to just kind of like dip away because mm -hmm. they're such a light character. And if they, if you catch them, you can like hit them for a shit ton of damage. But oh, here we go. Banjo. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this guy does not know what he's doing. Either that or he's just messed up several combos. Oh, Ricardo wasn't big enough. Yeah, I know, right? All I have to do is create, uh, you know, Jinjo things that he has to try to hit an egg through. That's the, that's the last of his uh, golden feathers. There we go. <laughs> 
make them afraid of Ricardo, and you can oh. tell that they're afraid of him. They're afraid of that. They're afraid of the, you know, they're like, oh, God damn, I got to deal with the union. <laughs> Ricardo, he's got, he's got, he's got the, he's got the company behind him. No, not. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, all right. He's going to start using his, yeah. Yep, I knew that was coming too. You can always kind of tell with banjo players when they're gonna uh, mm -hmm. start using their their side B, because it becomes a point of desperation. They're like, "Oh shit, I'm almost dead. I better use these." So. I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple scramble situations with like down smash, um, uh, and like he, he, you'll shield or spot like you'll shield or spot dodge, and then you go for like a big punish off it, and then he gets his shield up. Um, where I think you'll have more uh, is it uh, success is in um, uh, like charging a charging no. a, a, a down smash for a second yeah oh, i believe i believe in my screen no nope. oh, yeah. come on okay oh i thought i had the di <sighs> i can beat this banjo though uh, yeah i that was I doubt he'll stay for a rematch, though. Well, I can beat a banjo, too. Oh, my game's ruined. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs now. Okay. Thank you for Abigail's harassing her. <laughs> I thought I was being supportive. No, you <laughs> I was rooting for you. You're like the crowd, and I couldn't handle the crowd. That's why I could never actually compete in a tournament. <laughs> as soon as I start to hear the crowd, I just fucking choke. <laughs> It was really interesting. Uh, Zero just did a video all about um, uh, MK Leo and just kind of talking about his trajectory and, you know, just the perspective of what it was like for him, like seeing MK Leo like rise and him being the person to be. Mm -hmm. hmm. Very cool. More Mario's. I know, seriously. Yeah, those Mario's. That's not true. That was a very, very nice up, uh, very, very nice uh, up air. Thank you. Trying to pick at your shield, trying to get in. He is much better using his B than the other Mario's were. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, man. I'm not always great with the angle on the uh, the forward tilt, but man. So, extra credit land. Get them jabs. You're gonna die. Oh, whoa, did not mean to do that. <laughs> my fingers slipped up to the B button when I went to go just do my uh, uh, forward mm -hmm. tilt. Been I there. I know you know that. <laughs> <laughs> been, been there. Nice. Kept it, com kept it com comfortable uh, 77. I like it.
All right, he's getting your space more. He's like overshooting more. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him the, give him the get, get off me. <laughs> get, 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 get off me. The good Zelda. <laughs> We're back in the same place, but you got, you got less damage. Give him some sparkles. Give him some slice. Yeah, sparkles, sparkles. Even the fireworks show. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Glitter bomb. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Last time, last time we were here, you he was at he was at sixty five. You tacked an additional like ten percent lead on. It's good. He's wising up to your teleport games. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa, what? Give him, give him the long tackle. Oh, Ooh, that no! Was... Oh, that was so dumb. Oh my god. See, what, what I tried to do is I tried to do up B out of shield, and that is always what I end up doing, is I just fucking roll instead of doing up B, and it always is, like, to my detriment. <laughs> how are you... How how do you end up... Uh, how do you end up roll... Mm. You, oh, okay. Um, because the thing is, is that I have to do the input of it up B to the side all very quickly. And I think that what happens is, is like it, if it doesn't register the initial up B, I'm still committing to uh, the side, but I end up just rolling. Uh, instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's like, it's one thing where I, it's like, I have to commit to that direction or else I will just go straight up. And then could you go down instead? So like up B is your fastest option out of shield, um, uh, and like that initial hitbox is what you want. Mm -hmm. Like, is it faster to just go up down? Might. Because then Might. at worst you get a spot dodge. Oof. Can you imagine what this matchup's like for Falcon? God. God, or for Dr. Mario? Every time I play Dr. Mario, I play Heroes. Oh, I was just off. So you got you you're Fuck. Yeah. I had to go for something or else I was gonna get hit by that. Like when you see if you see your like someone whiff something really hard, like right in front of your nose. Um A lot of times what that means is you can like you can be bolder with your punishes. 
because you don't need to like defend. Like there's no need to flinch because you're you're like doing a good job of like taking care of defensive space for yourself. Yep, you didn't have enough magic. Thank you, Ricardo. <laughs> putting in the hours, clocking him in. He's putting in that overtime with that shield for the kaboom. So something Whoa. wild that I learned with Zelda. Oof. Um, oh. Very nice drift back. Oof, so good. Love that drift. Fuck. Oh my god. Do you ever, um... Oh. Okay, he didn't have enough. Okay. You're very much playing from behind. Like you're 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 very much playing from behind. Give him give him those give him those slices. Give him those tabs. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh. A. Oh my god. Uh, that's that's always the part that burns me with Hero is that I always get burned by his uh I I always he can burn or he can punish my role I think better than a lot yeah. of other uh, a lot of other characters can. Just because yeah. that uh, You got to you got to you got to shield it. You just got to like take the hit cuz it doesn't do that much uh shield stun. Yeah. You you can beat him though. Like I I, I'm not, I don't want to play him again. I hate playing him. That's fair. Because the thing, because, <laughs> I, I, I understand. <laughs> because here's the thing. I, yes, I could beat him, but you know what? All it takes is fucking one of his kamikaze things. And then suddenly That's it's just true. like, oh, okay. Uh, thanks, dude. Yeah, I, uh, Hero is, I do not enjoy playing against him. Ooh, here we go. Piranha Plant. I do enjoy playing against Piranha Plant though, especially in Zelda. <laughs> I should have held the shield. Okay. Oh, that crosses up. Okay. So, rather than so so something to to try out at some point um, would be an up smash out of shield. So his, um, especially when you're in the corner, so his his um, his dash attack crosses you up, which makes it very hard to uh, um, it makes it very hard to like punish it with a grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when you're in the middle of the stage, like you're very good at like. Uh, like retreating, giving space, um, and then making good use of it. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, nope. 
I thought I had my jump. <laughs> Do not shield when Ricardo is there. Your preference is to like alternate your projectiles. Um, I would say once you pace, like once you set a certain amount of pace, every once in a while to mix in a double. Okay. Uh, just because uh, it'll like help keep them from getting onto your rhythm. Ooh. Very nice. Waiting for him to engage with uh, his neutral B. Because then I can punish with my up B. Could not get a grab in on him. Oh, there it is. <laughs> It doesn't look like he's he's a big direction layer dodger. Um, so you can probably get away with the the up throw um, up throw up air combo. But actually, at this point, like back throw kills. Yeah. Oh damn it. Oh fuck. Damn it. I did not realize it was going to time. <sighs> All right. You can do it. Go for the grab. Grab's how you win. Yep, he won that. Yeah. I missed my grab. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. I think I'm going to call it because I feel myself losing steam in terms of focus. Mm -hmm. I've been going for like two hours now. 2.15. Yep. So... Mm -hmm. But that was a pretty good run. Uh, I came out with far less GSP than I entered with. <laughs> it happens. It's it happens. Of, it's the name of the game, though. I also think yeah. I play Smash way better uh, earlier on in the day. I do not play nearly as well uh, later on at night. I also had a very long day today, so I think that that also contributed to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, the, I mean, the other side of it, though, is like the, the truth is like, you know, you you uh, you kind of have to take your lemons uh, mm -hmm. some days. Um, like it's not necessarily the best for the climb, but it is for getting better. Um, Truth. So yeah. yeah, I mean, no, I definitely feel like I I uh, got better in terms of like I feel like being able to play a more patient game uh, for my neutral game uh, because I learned how to play a little bit more of an aggressive game with Zelda with the changes they made in the last patch. Um, mm -hmm. because it enabled her to, but now I think it's just, it's a matter of being able to 
really play patiently, but also, like you were saying, just like know what to play for certain matchups. And I think that that's where I am weakest, is that uh, just understanding from an overall game perspective how to adjust my gameplay. Um, Because, like, for League, I know how I need to play against uh, a Rengar. I know how I know, like, need to play against a Syndra. But it's like, I don't always know how to play against certain matchups. Bowser, I know how to play against. Uh, Samus, Mm -hmm. Donkey Kong, I know how to play against. Mario, I didn't really before. Now I really do. So that was definitely the benefit of today. Yeah, I mean, like, like, and, uh, like, on the whole mario's mm-hmm. like they're cheeky they yes, try to they get away are. with stuff that they, they try to get away with stuff that that that, that isn't actually true <laughs> they they like to they like to hit buttons yes um because they and, want those combos <laughs> uh, they want those combos you know you don't you don't play mario unless you want the dunk <laughs> um and so you can like you can count on it mm-hmm. um and uh and like you play by the numbers and mm. uh and um and yeah uh, and they can't just kind of like overwhelm you True. um but yeah i mean like and it, there's just so many so many characters i mean like i don't like i i i don't think i've ever beaten a rosa like a rosalina because i played against like five yeah no, that, and like the they, they body me and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, so uh, your boy Rudy just uh, visited the chat here, and he says, "I only have one character in Elite Hero." Uh, well, I you'll be happy to know that Hero uh, fucking stomped me multiple times today. I think I only uh, I think I only one. Uh, he's a Rosa and Luma Mainer. Wow. Yeah, dude, I hella respect people who uh, main Rosalina and Luma because there yeah. is like a rhythm that you have to really uh, do mm-hmm. to play them uh, because it's just because she's such a floaty character. Um, you really have to be able to kind of know very much in the same way with like Jigglypuff and Mewtwo. I feel like she falls in that same camp uh, or like Villager, I would say, too. Uh, in terms of like knowing how to occupy the space, yeah, she she angles. also like her 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 hurt box, like her actual like geometry, mm-hmm. like a lot of her moves like change it. Really, like like at, at least like that's how it feels. Like mm. like that's that's the way that I feel about Mewtwo and like Jigglypuff too. Like there are moves that I use that allow like with when I'm playing Jigglypuff that allow me to like get up on a ledge mm-hmm. when I wouldn't normally be able to get up on that ledge. Like I just like it's it's like uh, like when you're playing like Mario and you like jump and crouch at the same time yes. and you're just like a little bit thinner and you can like sneak <laughs> up in places. It's like that. Um, but yeah. like Rosalina is like long and mm. that like for 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 me it's just suddenly like I'm like a toothpick in the air. <laughs> uh, um, Rudy says uh, I wish she had a kill throw, but she is so good at edge guarding because of Luma. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. I have seen some insane videos of uh like rosalina luma uh edge guarding i know zero uh brought this guy onto his channel i think to do like a series of matches and he was a rosalina luma main and he the way he edge guarded zero even as diddy kong was hysterical because he just kept trying to get back with his up b but luma was just always there and he's like he's like how how are you doing that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's so good uh, it's, it's like watching uh what's it called um uh like melee chic oh uh, yes uh edge guard <laughs> edge guard falcon where falcon's oh. hand goes over over the side of the stage so you can just hit it with needles forever uh, <laughs> oh my goodness uh all right so well because uh your boy rudy jumped on the uh the uh the stream here at the end uh, i was gonna close out the stream i'm gonna play one last game uh let's see if i can close out with a win uh but uh to kind of do this last game here but then after that i am closing out i've been streaming for about two and a half hours now and i i'm losing steam but you know let's see let's see if i can pull out one more win i swear if i end up playing a rosalina and luma there is some kind of uh, voodoo magic that you have like placed on this stream. 
No, you can get bodied by a falcon. That's <laughs> that's the that's the way of it. Ooh, okay, to zero suit. To falcon. Okay. <laughs> I actually played this person earlier. I recognize their gamer tag. Yes. Did you win? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, I did not. Oh, I had the jab, but I didn't commit. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. This person, this person likes to come in. That's their, that's their thing. There we go. I bet you could get a pretty sick read with an up air. You probably have to like. No, I. I Ooh, I saw... that was nice. I, I saw that. There it is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do that? Side B. Whew, there we go. Oh, oh, the combo. Nice. There it is. <sighs> All right. Oh, man. Feels good to go out on a win. <laughs> uh, Rudy says, I can never play a Zelda. I just genuinely suck as her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, like, Zelda is... There are parts in Me her... Me too, man. I'm, I'm garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the, so if, if... Oh. If Zelda is someone you ever want to kind of try to take a dip into and really try to um, see if you can experiment with, there is a Zelda player who uh, broke onto the scene in Smash Ultimate when it first came out. Um, his name is Ven, V-E-N. Uh, he showed up at a ton of tournaments, and he was one of the only people who was playing Zelda and showing that finally she was like uh, viable for competitive play. Um, he uses the down B Ricardo, which is like what, what he, na he was the one who named, uh, the phantom Ricardo <laughs> and, uh, he just does some incredible stuff. I learned a lot, uh, from my gameplay, especially using the down B phantom, uh, from him, because that is the bread and butter for, at least for me, of at least the way that I play with Zelda's kit, because, there is so much that you can do, not only with harass, with spacing, uh, and the biggest part that Ricardo can do 
is he can eat projectiles and it will save your life on so many occasions. Uh, when I was playing a hero earlier, uh, he fucking threw out a kaboom or like one of those and Ricardo came out just at the right time and just ate that shit <laughs> before he could, <laughs> before he could, uh, reach me. But, uh, but yeah, uh, awesome. Well, thank you so much for, uh, tuning in for the stream. Um, Rudy, I really appreciate you, uh, jumping on and for the discussion at the end. Sorry you cut us at the end. Um, because I prefer playing as unique characters like Hero, Rosa Luma, Olimar, and Duck Hunt. Dude, mad fucking respect because all of those characters are so complicated. And uh, Rich here, who is on the stream with me, uh, he has got a very squirrely Duck Hunt uh, that I, I have had many very silly matches against. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, so Rudy, if you want to, uh, hop back on the stream, uh, perhaps next Friday, I was thinking about doing, uh, an open arena, um, see if we can get people just come in, uh, Rich would be there, uh, kind of playing matches, but kind of doing a round robin tournament. Um, but I stream at, uh, 730 every Friday, uh, for that. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Thanks for joining in. Rich, thank you again for joining me for the stream, uh, for all of, of the helpful coaching. I swear to God, yeah. man, you're no, your real time coaching in that Mario matchup earlier. <laughs> like that was, that was what fucking helped me win that game. But, <laughs> awesome. All right. Oh, you, Rudy, thank you so much for the follow and uh, turning on notifications. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, dude, Rich, thank you for that coaching, man. That was that was clutch. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, uh, I'll be back uh, next time. The next stream that I'm going to be doing is going to be uh, on Sunday. Uh, it is Indie Retro Sunday. I haven't decided what I'm going to play this time. I don't know if I want to live in a world of pain and try to finish Banjo again. I may give myself a little more time before I try to do that. Um, but I think I might actually play... Uh, an indie game because I have played retro games almost exclusively uh, for Sunday. So I think I am going to uh, uh, play an indie game. Uh, there's a couple that some friends suggested and uh, our good friend Louie uh, sent us uh, some Steam uh, gift cards. Uh, so I think I'm going to probably find something on Steam to play and then uh, go from there. But thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. And if not, we'll be back again Wednesday for Witcher Wednesdays and next week Friday for For the Win Friday. Have a wonderful night, and keep smashing. <laughs>